In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Kaya Linux in the easiest way possible to get you started with your hacking and cybersecurity endeavors. Hi, my name is Kaiser Clark. I have over six years of experience in cybersecurity and I currently work as a full-time penetration tester, also known as an ethical hacker. And on this channel, I hope you grow your hacking and cybersecurity knowledge. All right, the first thing you want to do is head over to virtualbox.org. Once you're on the website, you want to click the download button right here. Then on the left hand side, you can see VirtualBox platform packages. Choose your operating system. I'm using Windows, so I will click Windows. If you're using Mac, you would click one of the Mac ones, or if you're using Linux, you would use this. But for me, I'm doing Windows, so I'm clicking this. After you get it downloaded, launch executable, and you will be greeted with the VirtualBox setup wizard. Once you're here, click next. Make sure you read and understand the end user license agreement. Click accept and click next. You can customize your install by clicking on these and you can also change your install path. But for the simplest and fastest setup, just click next. And then you will get greeted with this warning. This will kick you off the internet. So if you have something pressing going on in your computer that requires an internet connection, you wanna hold off your install. This will disrupt your internet connection on your computer temporarily. But once you understand that, click yes. If you get this warning missing dependencies, just click yes. And then for custom setup, you can customize everything here, but you can also just click next because the defaults are already selected for you. And then once you're ready to install, just click install. And it's gonna take some time to get your install completed. While you're waiting for that to install, do me a favor and hit the like button on this video and subscribe for more hacking and cybersecurity content. After the install is done, you can start the installation by making sure this is checked and click finish. And then this will automatically launch VirtualBox for you. And congratulations, if you see this screen, you have successfully installed VirtualBox correctly. Now that we have VirtualBox installed successfully, we have to download our Kali Linux virtual machine image. Now you wanna head over to kali.org slash get dash Kali. And once you're here, you're gonna click on virtual machines and you want to click on virtual box and while that's downloading you want to head over to 7-zip.org and download 7-zip so i'm using an x64 bit version of windows so i will click download right here once you get 7-zip downloaded launch executable and you'll be greeted with the wizard just click install if you want to change the destination folder you can do that however this will suffice for me and then click close and it's as simple as that. After the Kaya Linux virtual machine image gets downloaded, you'll see a 7-zip file, something like this. You're gonna right click it, hover over 7-zip, and you can extract the files here or you can choose a location. I'm just gonna click here because that's the easiest way. Give this some time, it is a very large file. After the files get extracted, you'll see a folder that looks something like this. Double click into here. And then you'll see a VirtualBox image with a .vbox extension. You also see one that has .vdi. We want the .virtualbox extension. So we double click on this. And this will automatically install our Kaya Linux VirtualBox into VirtualBox. You will see your Kaya Linux image right here on the left. Just double click this and you will boot it up. And then you should get something that looks something like this. You can, if you get some errors on here, you might want to deal with those. But for me right now, uh, these errors aren't critical to my operation. So I want to go ahead and clear these out by clicking this. And then to log in, the username is Kali. And then the password is also Kali. And then push enter to log in. And, and you see we have a fully functional Kali Linux machine right here. However, you might notice that it's very small and kind of hard to work with. If you get this issue, the fix is very easy. All you have to do is go to view and then click scaled mode. And then it'll tell you how to use scaled mode and how to go back to windowed mode. You can also tell it not to show this message again. I like to see this notification because I always forget how to go back to windowed mode. So I leave this unchecked. So I'm going to click switch to switch to scale mode. And then once you go into full screen mode, you'll see this, but you'll, you'll notice that the resolution is very bad. And it's kind of blurry if you're using a high resolution monitor like I am right now. I'm using a 4K monitor. And this is just extremely blurry and kind of hard to read everything. So you want to click up here on the top left. This is kind of like the Kyle Linux start menu. Click here and then just search for display. 
and then you want to change the resolution you see the resolution is incredibly low so if you're using a 1080p monitor you want to click on this or if you're using 4k you want to click on the 4k but uh, for demonstration purposes we just put this 1080p and we will click apply and then once you do that you can restore it to the previous configuration if it looks all weird or if it looks good just keep this configuration and then you can see now it looks nice neat and crisp and we can use our Kyle Linux machine however we see fit now now with everything installed and ready to go the next step is to change your default password now you don't have to do this but it's highly and I mean highly recommended you should never have the default password on any system so you should change it right away to do that come up here on the top you will see the terminal emulator just click on this I'm gonna zoom in so you can see better and I'm even gonna go full screen and then all you have to do is type in pass WD like that it will say changing password for Cali the current password which is Cali and then we type in our new password so set this to whatever you want please follow best practices and use a secure password and then we have to retype that same password and then it will say pass WD password updated successfully as you see here in order to test this we can come up here on the top right and click log out and then click log out again here's the login screen if we type in Cali and then we type in Cali again and hit log in it does not work but if we type in the password that I set it works so we have successfully updated the default password on our system and like I said please use a secure password so there you have it I have shown you how to download and install VirtualBox 7-zip in Kali Linux as well as show you how to change the default password for your Kali user on your system now that your Kali Linux machine is all set up ready to go you probably want to start learning how to hack if that's you you have to check out this playlist that's dedicated to teaching cybersecurity beginners industry standard tools good luck have fun and please hack ethically, legally, and responsibly. See you in the next video.